Well, hi, this is uh, Chase Swift, and in this video, I want to cover a question I got emailed from a friend of mine, James, and he has been a PC user for quite some time, and he's actually buying a Mac, but he has some questions on which Mac to buy, and also maybe which software to use. So down at the bottom, he suggests any tips, or prefer preferred items, ideas, suggestions would be appreciated. So I'd be glad to do that. And what I'm going to do is cover kind of the basic uh, computers that they initially offer, the Mac Mini, the iMac, and then the MacBook um, laptops, okay? And then the software I'm going to cover is also Pages, because he indicates he'll do a lot of writing, so writing ads and content and resumes, um, no games at all, I understand that. So uh, we'll cover Pages as well. So I'm going to uh, switch over to the Apple website. I've already clicked on the Mac sub-tab or the tab up at the top. So as I indicated, I want to cover the Mac Mini uh, because I'm not sure which Mac uh, James needs. And it d depends really on portability and or what um, cost range you're looking at, uh, James is looking at. So the Mac Mini I'm going to go to right now is the least expensive way to go from a PC to a Mac. And that's because this is the computer it's uh, very small and what you would hook it up to is a current screen or monitor that you already have a PC um, you would want to double check but these days it's pretty um, light likely that it'll hook right into the back of the Mac <clears throat> the Mac mini is made for those that are transitioning and they already have the equipment such as uh, a monitor and keyboard and mouse and they just want to get into a Mac. So a Mac Mini is very powerful, it's very small, and it gives you everything you'd ever need. And if that gives you a sense of the size of it, that's the entire computer, okay? So you would provide the screen, the keyboard, and the mouse, okay? So that's very inexpensive. And as far as software, if I come down here, this shows you a real quick uh, overview of all the little programs that come with it. I want to highlight uh, some of the most important, and that is uh, these three, and I'll try to zoom in here, Pages, which I'll talk about more in a moment. Pages is the Mac or Apple equivalent of Microsoft Word. It also comes with Numbers, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel for spreadsheets. It also comes with free uh, as a you know, normal software package that comes on your Mac is Keynote. So all three of these come in addition to other uh, beneficial programs such as Safari, your web browser, mail to read both um, internet mail and uh, more local mail that you download to your computer. You can just set up that it's very easily. And I just want to make a point that Apple has been doing this for years. They've been converting people that want to not use a PC anymore for virus issues and just um, more ease of use. All these programs work together. So um, you'll have messages so you can text people, FaceTime so you can video chat with anyone in the world that has FaceTime. And that includes FaceTime on a mobile device like an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, photo booth, which is really handy for quick pictures that you may need of yourself or family members, things like that. Photos, which organizes all your photos that you take on your devices, such as iPhones and iPads, and uh, you can import photos and all that. So I won't cover any more because uh, it's pretty um, overwhelming to cover everything all at once. Uh, but those programs come built in and you can learn more about um, each of these programs. And I'll just click quickly to Pages. And Pages is very, um, it's an awesome program. And it does word processing. Also, it'll do uh, layout for advertising where you can independently control images and text and graphics and charts very easily. Uh, literally drag and drop. Um, they have a bunch of templates that you can automatically uh, choose and then fill in your content, fill in your images, um, and, and things of that n uh, matter. So um, it's very, very nice. I almost want to show something real quick. I'm going to launch, uh, I didn't launch pages. Let me do that real quick. 
because um, it is really powerful. So let's go to, I'm looking for pages. Well, I'm not finding it, so uh, let's just do pages. There it is. And what I'll do is instead of opening a new document, I'm going to just choose a new from the file menu. And here are some of these templates. Um, there's tons of them. Uh, even business cards, you might need uh, resumes, um, common things like for sale, um, real estate flyers, uh, posters. They're already laid out for you. And I'll just, let's go, here's a photo card. Let's do, do that real quick. I'm going to choose that. And here is the photo card layout. I'm going to resize pages to fit into the window here. So if you have, uh, let's say you need to do a real quick photo card, you can pull up media, which brings up your iPhoto, all the images you have on your computer. And I'm a photographer, so let's throw in, uh, maybe someone's a, uh, an avid nature person, so I just drop in. Actually, I didn't do that correctly, but uh, let's, let's do that correctly. Uh, let's drop in. I'm going to drag instead of just click, but I'm going to drag in this image which is a green, uh, red-eyed green frog, okay. Notice how it goes, it fits right in to the template really nicely. And then I would just ch choose to type whatever I want over on the side. But what's really great is you can drop images in right from your iPhoto or your, what's now called photos. And it doesn't matter uh, the size of it, the, res the resolution, it'll automatically fit correctly inside that little frame. So that's just a sample of really some cool things that uh, Apple has done. Uh, and then you would just print that out and type in what you want there. So it's pretty slick and easy. And uh, the other good thing is you can export to uh, Microsoft Word. So if you're sending someone um, a document and it needs to be in Word, you can export it to Microsoft Word because Apple knows they live in a PC world. Um, they just make things much easier, I think, um, because working on Mac is just so much easier. And things like that, uh, dropping in images is just, there's, I don't know that there's much like it on, uh, on a PC. But then you can export, uh, and this goes for all the programs um, that Mac uh, gives you, is you can export to Microsoft equivalents or even PDFs so that everybody can open up the file or the document and see it. So that's really handy. So um, I could go a lot more into pages, but you saw um, the, um, the different uh, templates and things. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to save that, so I'll delete it. Um, so the Mac Mini is if you want the least expensive transition into a Mac. And that's because you're going to provide the keyboard, the screen, and the mouse okay now if you don't need to be mobile or if you do need to be mobile you'll pick one of the laptops and they make the macbook and the macbook air and the macbook pro the macbook um and you can always probably go to uh comparison they do have comparisons but the laptops are really sophisticated very slim nice looking uh, very good on power, and I'm using a MacBook Pro as I uh, record this video. So if you need to be portable, then you're going to look at a laptop. Okay, if you don't need to be portable, I would look at, and, and so the Pro is more a higher level of quality, um, uh, faster processors, um, better graphics. Um, so for James, he's not going to need that as much. So the light, the MacBook Air is really light, and uh, so they, if you if weight is a concern and you're traveling, I would go look at the MacBook Air. If you just want an inexpensive, simple, nice, but good quality. I mean, all of these are great quality, and that's the thing. They get all the all the programs come together uh, that I showed earlier. They all have the same programs. They all work. You all, you know, there is no restriction in choosing a lower. Uh, priced MacBook. You always get all the programs and everything works together just kind of as I've shown. So if you need portability, I would look at one of the uh, laptops and probably James, if you need portability, look at the MacBook. Okay. Um, the last one is if you need a desktop. These iMacs are wonderful because 
The entire computer is in the back of the screen. And they are extremely thin. They are beautiful. And uh, here is what I'm talking about. So you're looking at the entire computer. This is the stand. And everything that the computer is, is behind the screen. Everything. And then you would have uh, plugins on the back here. Let's see if we can get to. So you can get wireless devices such as a keyboard, a trackpad, and a mouse to uh, you know use. Um, then on the back of the um, the iMac, you have headphone ports, uh, SIM card slots for SDXC cards. You have USB. You have four slots for USB devices. Thunderbolt 2, which is an Apple way to add more, uh, an additional screen, probably not what James would need, but gives you two Thunderbolt um, uh, ports. And then here's your Ethernet, like if you get your uh, internet connection through a router, you can plug it right into the iMac. You can also do it wirelessly, of course. Wireless is built in. The last thing is over on the far right is the power cord, and that's really all you need to know. Those are all the devices, all the plugins that you have. It is, I have one of these, I have an older one, but they are just fantastic, beautiful, well-functioning, well-designed computers. So if you don't need to be portable and you want a desktop, I would definitely look at the uh, iMac. And they have two sizes. Um, I think a 21 and a 27 inch uh, screen so they're really nice you may not think you may uh, need a big screen but they are beautiful and they just make working on your Mac so much easier so here's a 21 inch uh, iMac with a 4k display meaning that's a very high resolution and then a 27 inch which is um, I do have a I have a 24 and I can't remember it could be a 27 but it's older Anyway, this is the highest resolution, so it's very, for photographers, video guys, that will be important. If you're just looking for a little bit lower priced um, desktop, I would go with the 21 inch uh, iMac with the Retina 4K. Um, they are beautiful and uh, very, they work very well and all that good stuff. So the, the biggest thing is they come with OS X. This name will change. OS means the operating system. And Apple has uh, had their operating system called OS X. They use a Roman num numeral, but they're going to change that in the near future. And in the near future, it'll just say OS Mac because they make uh, uh, operating systems for their iPhones. That's called iOS. And so OS Mac is the operating system. It'll change here very shortly uh, in this fall to operating system Mac or OS Mac. Okay, and these are the things, the, the programs that come with your Mac. They're extraordinary. They're easy to learn. They're easy to use. There are um, tutorials online, but the best, probably best way to ever learn about um, a program, and here's things, how to close the uh, program, how to minimize it, and how to make it full screen. Those are those uh, red dots there, and it makes sense, kind of stop, yellow and green, kind of like a stoplight. Um, but you learn best if you have a local Apple store near you because you can go in there and for free of charge, they, you can set up appointments one-on-one -on -one, um, and go through and learn from a Mac specialist uh, how to use all these programs. Now, I do provide a lot of support and ideas and how-tos on my YouTube channel, but if that's not enough, I would strongly... Um, visit a Apple store uh, and just take in hopefully you have a um, uh, laptop or they have iMacs there and they have uh, Mac minis there and so you can just uh, use those and they can show you and you can get the feel of it and you can ask questions and you can just always go to an app's Apple store um, and learn everything you would ever really need and keep going back uh, as I mentioned everything is compatible with Windows this is a PC world, so the Mac has to cooperate with that. And I think they do a fantastic job. Uh, the, the PC world refuses to see the Mac equivalents and out there. And so uh, 
Mac really thinks about uh, connecting your content with other people and they allow you to export it in PDFs and other uh, Microsoft type uh, programs as well as the Apple um, equivalents of like pages and numbers and Keynote. And by the way, Keynote uh, is a fantastically beautiful, I'm going to bring that up here. And this is a fun little graphic I made just the other day. But um, you can uh, move graphics around. Uh, and I know you can do this in um, uh, Excel and, and um, I'm sorry, uh, PowerPoint. But um, there's just so many awesome great things, you know, like shapes for uh, elements in your presentation. Um, I'm trying to think of something fun and interesting. But uh, here again is your media. From a different separate program, your iPhotos, your, I'm sorry, Photos is now what they call it. And you can just scroll through there, and then if you need an image, just drop it in. And um, if, it, if it picks up a frame like it is here, it'll pop in there. But you can just have it load right like that. And then you have an image that you can uh, resize, drag around. And let me just show you, let me just get rid of, let me just move this text around. I realize this um, video is getting a little long, but I'm trying to show a lot of valuable ideas and things. So what I'm doing is grabbing a little corner and resizing the text so it uh, flows in this corner. And then what I'm going to do is click the format uh, bar up here. Here's And I'm going to click on this image. And one of the greatest things they have is drop shadows. Okay. Uh, to really add uh, a nice touch to your images. Now notice I can change the offset of that shadow. I can also change the blur of that shadow. Notice how it just makes that image just kind of float on the screen. You can also change the angle of the shadow. I mean these are things that are really quite nice. Now another thing is the reflection. You can have the image uh, begin to reflect and like that's it's like on a glassy white surface Let me turn off the uh, drop shadow. And you can see the uh, effect. This is something that you just won't have in Windows Okay, look at that nice Reflection surface of that image. You got the grass and then it just fades off That's an effect. I've never really seen done well on a PC um, and then, you know, opacity, things like that. You can do interesting things there. But graphically, the Mac really excels in this area, okay? Um, borders, actually, there's some really cool thing with the picture frames. Now, this tends to make it look a little messy, but notice the reflection of, it looks like it's on a re highly reflective white background, okay? So, uh, and you can even change the... Uh, um, scale of the white border around your image so that's just kind of a fun thing to do i got my cat meowing at me so um just don't pay any attention to that um i could go a lot more into it and i do cover more things in um on my youtube videos um, but i use as you can see i have i use this um keynote for a lot of my videos where I just have information, I go from screen to screen. Um, and it's also a great place to design really cool graphics. Uh, here's again that reflection, and I have my image. All of these elements are easy to work. This is in uh, a PNG file, so it's, it's transparent. Um, you can obviously do things with uh, some cool stuff there. So I have used the Mac and love it. It's um, really just an awesome way for me to, to work. I consider it a um, kind of a, a, a kind of like a vacation working on my Mac. It's never a struggle. It's never a challenge. It's fun. And there's just so many smart things that they think about. Um, you can even share uh, files via iCloud now, which means it'll store it in the cloud and you can uh, send a copy to someone, various methods, and collaborate with um, documents. Of course, they would need uh, the Mac software too, but again, you can always export um, files uh, into the equivalents of PowerPoint. Um, you can make a movie. Uh, you can put it in HTML. 
there's so many cool things um, that you can do on a Mac um, because they realize it's a PC world and they just give you so many options of uh, working in that environment of what you need to do. So um, that's a real quick overview as I scroll back up here. Uh, on the Mac, your first computer, if you're coming from the PC world, if you're going to be portable, look at one of the uh, laptops. If you're just um, average type use, look at the MacBook. If you're really concerned about weight uh, and you want to be sleek and kind of, you know, cool, I guess the MacBook Air is really small and light. Uh, they really designed it to be that way. If you want power, go for the MacBook Pro. As far as uh, desktop devices, I would recommend the iMac Mini if you want to go inexpensively or if you just want a beautiful computer that you know you want a nice computer all wrapped into one, it's the iMac. Uh, the MacBook Pro is another uh, high-end computer, but for James, I don't think that will be a consideration. They all come with the latest operating system, which I mentioned will um, have all the software on it. It's all you never get. Uh, a restriction on the amount of software and then I guess this is one thing I was looking at uh, comparing things if you need to compare just go to the Mac uh, and then click on compare this will compare all the laptops and possibly even yeah even the other computers the Mac mini and the Mac Pro and here are the iMacs okay so if you have further questions or comments please put those in this uh, description of this YouTube video and uh, James, I hope this helps. And what I'll be doing is sending you whoops, uh, email back. Uh, not with the calendar. I want to go to mail. There it is. Uh, so I'm giving James a link to my video. And he and I might uh, converse back and forth again. But um, the other great thing about uh, your Mac is the fact that everything works together with your other devices like maybe you have an iPhone or you have an iPad uh, you can transfer files between one another um, and so if you have an iPhone and a Mac mini you can transfer videos and pictures from your phone wirelessly to your Mac and it's just really awesome and really easy so I do that a lot um, so these are just things that um, trying to help Everybody understand how awesome a Mac is and also which Macs you might want to choose. So, hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to hearing from you, James. And if anyone else has comments or questions about buying a Mac, uh, just type those in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those as best I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.